Let's start with pH. pH is defined as a quantitative measure of the acidity of aqueous or other liquid solutions. The lower the pH, the more acidic the solution is. The higher the pH, the more basic the solution is. pH is commonly used in the medical field when referring to blood pH or stomach acid pH. Normal blood pH is 7.4, while a normal stomach acid pH is about 3. PKA is drug specific, meaning every drug has a different PKA. The PKA is defined as the negative log of the equilibrium constant for the dissociation of the acid or base. This is just a fancy way of saying that when the pKa of a drug is lower, the more acidic it is, just like pH. The pKa of a drug is the pH where the drug is 50% ionized and 50% non-ionized. Why does this matter? Well, the ionized part of drugs are water-soluble and inactive. These water-soluble portions cannot diffuse over the blood-brain barrier, GI tract, or placenta. So in essence, ionized drugs don't have any of their pharmacological effects. However, they are more likely to be excreted by the kidneys than their lipid-soluble counterparts. Non-ionized parts of drugs are lipid, also known as fat, soluble. These fat-soluble portions have active effects in the body. They can diffuse across the blood-brain barrier, GI tract, and placenta. However, they are less likely to be excreted by the kidneys than their water-soluble counterparts. Here's an example. Let's say we have a drug with a pKa of 8, or a weak base. If we put that drug in a solution with a pH of 8, that means 50% of the drug is water-soluble and 50% of the drug is fat-soluble. Let's change it up a bit. Let's say we have a drug with a pKa of 9 and a solution with a pH of 4. The basic nature of this drug won't like the solution that is this acidic. Therefore, this drug will be mostly water-soluble and inactive. What if we change the solution to a pH of 10? The drug with a pKa of 9 would like this basic environment and would be mostly fat soluble and active. Remember, same likes same. A drug with a basic pKa will like and become active in a solution containing a basic pH. A drug with an acidic pKa will like and become active in a solution containing an acidic pH. The same concept applies to the body. Potent IV drugs likely have a pKa between 6 and 8, since the normal pH of the bloodstream is 7.4.